Good morning. I'm excited. Today I'm going to make, get to make a big old meal because I'm going to feed my family. My daughter and her family are going to come up uh, and eat. So that's an exciting time for me. But I had bought um, a ham to cook for lunch and when I got there they were out of the spiral ham that was advertised. So I bought a shank, um, just a hickory smoked ham. But I was talking to Linda at Linda's Pantry, and she said that she double smokes her hams. And so we are going to double smoke this one. We're going to put it on our Primo and smoke it for four or five hours and just add some extra smoke to it. And um, I can't hardly really wait to taste it, but I think it's going to have probably a little different texture than cooking in the oven wrapped in foil. I think the texture of the meat will be different. And um, I'm just excited to try it because I love the smoke flavor in anything. So Troy's getting things ready out there. I'm fixing to get the ham ready. And we will, uh, in a little bit, go get it on the pit. And I'll bring y'all along for the ride. Then I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Because it might be something y'all want to do at your house. It, uh, You just can't get too much smoke in something, I don't think. Okay. Let me go do my part so he can do his part, and we'll do our part by watching. Okay, here's the ham, and Troy's getting the pit ready. I'm so anxious to do this double smoke. They say it's fabulous. I'm going to go show y'all the Primo while he's getting it heated up and set up. Okay, he's got the fire going, letting the wood burn down, the charcoal, and he's fixing to get the deflector plates put in. And... Uh, We'll put a little bit of water underneath it, and then we'll smoke it, and it'll have double smoke flavor. Okay, see I've got a pan of water there, and we'll put the grill grate on top of that, and um, get ready to put the ham in when the temperature gets right. Just getting the grate on. And I'm going to run and get the ham. Here we go gonna have double smoked ham. This one's not a spiral slice so that'll be good to get it uh, smoked and then I'll cut it and what we don't eat I'll put in packages and cook beans and peas and stuff with it to make good flavoring. And there's the helper. Okay, when you get your ham on the uh, grate there, you want to score the fat, and that lets more smoke into the ham. Now, I don't glaze my hams, but uh, at the end, if you wanted to glaze it with uh, whatever your favorite glaze is, then that would uh, cook on there. But I'm not going to glaze it. But let me get you up close. See, we're just scoring the fat. And we have some entertainment. Okay. Look at that. It's been oh, it's been slow smoking for about four hours. So we're going to take it off and uh, bring it in the house and slice it up. Troy did it to an internal temperature of like 168. It was already cooked. It just had to um, heat. And so we just smoked it some more. All right, we're going to take it in the house and I'll show you. Okay, we've got it inside on a cutting board. And um, I'm going to slice some of it up, taste of it. I can probably see the ham right here. We've got a bunch sliced and I've got me a piece to taste. That's just a different texture and everything than when you heat them in the oven. That is delicious ham. Y'all need to try it. And I wouldn't recommend doing it on a spiral slice. I would get me, this is a shank, and uh, I would get that and do it and then slice it myself. I hope y'all are having something good to eat tonight because we are. We've got us a feast fixed around here. We're going to eat it and enjoy it. The good Lord keep y'all. Come back in a few days and we'll have something else good to eat.